good morning student today we will know about a tag question and that is very important terms in grammar sense so first of all i tell you what is tag question so a tag question is when a short question that we put at end of the sentence are called tag question and just you remember that tag question contain a helping verb and a subject pronoun this is the simple definition of tag question i repeat again a tag question is that when short question we put at the end of the sentence for example i tell you c is beautiful this is simple affirmative sentence and when we change it to negative sentence we sell we just say about c is not beautiful i hope you will understand but in tag question if the question is question tag if the question about a question tag then we just found which helping verb is used here then is helping verb is used here and what is the subject the subject is c so just we put is and she at the end of the sentence but one point you remember student if the sentence is affirmative it means it a positive sense then always question tags is negative and if the sentence so a negative sense it means there is not or no then it question tag is always a positive i just tell you for example she is beautiful here is is a helping verb then we we will put is is and then not is not because c is beautiful is a affirmative sentence then we say is not and then the subject that is c and subject pronoun that is c so here we question tag use isn't c and then put the question mark so the mix sentence we how can uh, what sentence we will found she is beautiful isn't c so student here are some examples in this boxes i tell you one by one and i explain you if any sentence i once again i repeat that that sentence if the sentence is positive then the question tag is always negative just remember this so here this question uh, sentence is i am a student first you will find the helping verb and then subject pronoun what do i say subject pronoun so i am a student here am is a subject oh sorry am is a helping verb and i is a subject pronoun so what question tag is used here it is negative sense we use am aren't i and yesterday i told you when the sentence have am that is convert into negative uh, question interrogative sentence it become are then i uh, we can say it aren't i now the second question you are a student simple you are a student this is a affirmative sentence and then we use a question tag here are is a helping verb then it become aren't and you is a subject pronoun then the question tag is aren't you now third c is a student then we then we use question tag isn't c c was coming that the question tag is wasn't c student are you are you understand wasn't that means was not c now he lives in paris if sentence is if sentence have no helping verb you will find then you will see which verb is used here you will see here lives l i v e s l i v e s and lives and the subject is he and you know that if singular subject we use then verb is always singular that lives is singular verb and then we change into interrogative sentence and become a negative sentence so lives it become change in does lives it make a interrogative sentence it become a does so my question tag is doesn't he now the next question they live in paris sorry next example they live in paris here live l i v e live and they they is a plural subject plural subject pronoun and live that it also a plural then live is changed into do if this sentence in the past tense then we use did but it is not a past tense this is use a present tense then we use do so my neg my negative tag tag is don't they now next he was happy 
then it written wasn't he they were happy then it is weren't they he went to the party last night student just listen carefully this sentence he went there is went and went is the past tense of go and the subject pronoun is he then went is change in interrogative is did so uh, the negative tag is didn't he now the next sentence they were waiting for us then it written weren't they they have been to paris then it written haven't they now next he had gone home early it written hadn't he she will arrive early then it writ written won't see will not its short form is won't see he can help then here is can will must this is the model verb i tell you just uh, earlier classes so we can change into can't he and he must come today that is changed into mustn't he in question negative tag so i hope you will understand now if the sentence is already negative sentence then it question tag is always positive let's example i will see we will see i am not a student here i am not already written not so the negative positive tag is am i here you aren't a student are not its positive positive tag is are you third c isn't a student so the positive tag is is c now fourth one c wasn't coming then answer is was c next he doesn't live in paris then does he they don't live in paris then the question tag is do they he wasn't happy then the positive question tag was he next they weren't happy the question tag is were they next he didn't go to the party last night the question tag is did he now the next they weren't waiting for us the question tag is were they now the next they haven't been to paris here the question tag is have they now the next example he hadn't gone home early then the sentence question tag positive question tag is had he and the last she won't arrive early i tell you won't is will not so the positive question tag is will see so this is a simple terms where we can change positive to negative or negative to positive sentence or it will say declarative sentence into interrogative sentence by adding a short question or we say question tag question at the end of the sentence so this is the tag question i hope you all will understand but student here some point uh, you just remember this first just you mug up this uh, point that if a sentence contain negative word it means already the sentence have a negative sense like never seldom hardly ever these are the word this this shows the negativity then if any sentence have this types of word used then always we use a positive question tag for example i tell you see never comes late here never is already sense a negative sense so the question tag is positive so the answer is does see next we don't keep our country clean here already we write don't so the uh, positive question tag is do we and third it hardly ever rains in desert it means desert it hardly rain so it already a negative word so we can change into positive question tag and the rains here rains r a i n s here rains is used and it is a singular so we can change into does so does it and the second remember point is very crucial so you just mug up or just learn it if the main subject have a indefinite pronoun like like everybody everyone somebody someone nobody no one these types of word are used in sentence then we just simply change into question tag we just put they t h e y they for example i tell you everybody loves her here everybody and the next no one objected and third everyone agreed these are the words and when we write everybody loves her so just we simply put loves first you will see loves l o v e s loves is a singular verb singular verb use then it simply it is a singular so we use do and it negative sense is don't don't they 
Now second was no one objected. Here ed is used. Objected. This is past tense. So past tense in the past tense we change into did. So the uh, question tag is did they because the sentence already negative no one objected so my, our question tag is positive way did they and the third one everyone agreed again here ed agreed and it is past tense so simply we can change didn't because this is a positive sentence everyone agreed so we use negative question tag that is didn't they so this is a two rules which you have to mug up or remember and uh, I hope you all will understand the question tag. And I again repeat question tag is the word which uh, sort question that we put at the end of the sentence. And uh, question tag contain a helping verb and a subject pronoun. And in this way we change declarative sentence into interrogative sentence. So this is a tag question. And I hope you all will understand the uh, lectures which i have just explained you and uh, your homework is just again read and read and read this tag question again and again and mug up all the rules and then you just solve the question exercise d in your book this is your homework thank you and have a nice day